Time to be a man. Mike Fisher reporting from the Star in Frisco, reminding you to please subscribe to the Fish Report here in Cowboy Nation. Fish heads almost 60,000 strong. And uh, tell your cowboy loving friends to come along too. Subscribe, it's free. Straight dope, no bullsh. Here is a few minutes of the reason why you should do so. Uh, reporting from inside the Star in Frisco, of course, where we've got three, count them, three Dallas Cowboys, prominent names as we move forward that we will address here. Uh, Dallas has won games with a combination of, at different times, dominant defense, dominant offense. If you look at the points allowed, uh, Cowboys are top three in the league in both categories, offense and defense, points scored, points allowed. Uh, that's hard to match. And if you marry that particular combination, you are indeed a Super Bowl contender. And that's without any coming help. Here comes some help. Let's go one, two, three. Help number one, ding. James Washington, the Cowboys do feel good about where he is as we enter the weekend. Uh, they need to get him through Friday, and then we are very possibly looking at a Saturday activation to the 53-man roster. He, of course, is inside of his 21-day window. You, you can't sit and wait for Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr., at least the one that people remember from years ago, ain't walking through that door. Uh, Beckham, uh, who a couple of days ago told Micah Parsons, I, I, need, I need five weeks, uh, now is going on national TV saying, I don't see the point in doing it till the playoffs. Well, okay, but at some point, if you don't see the point, uh, the bidding teams aren't going to see the point. And as we sit here right now, there are no bidding teams. There are visiting teams and there are suitors, but there are no bidding teams. So move forward with James Washington. Uh, the uh, the uh, Belenikoff winner, of course, in college at Oklahoma State, uh, a guy who had a great deal of uh, skins on the wall there, gets to the Steelers as a premium round pick. It doesn't work out quite the way everybody had planned had some dropsies early in his career, but um, this is a uh, a good soldier, uh, a, a Texas rancher for real, and uh, a deep threat that can take the top off of defense. We'll see how that works out, maybe as soon as Cowboys against Houston this weekend. Indeed, uh, if things work out Friday, Saturday, I think we can predict that's the plan. Uh, guy number two, ding, Tyron Smith. This coaching staff, in an ideal world would prefer that you have a padded practice before you actually go into a game. And especially in the offensive line, you're working in combination with the guy next to you, it's two on one, it, and, and even though Tyron has practiced, and uh, to my eyes, and then in the eyes of the guys we've talked to, has been Tyron, he's been terrific. Um, his original goal was to do it this week against the Texans. Let's back that up a little bit. Let's get him some padded practices and then uh, I bet you we see him in some capacity at Jacksonville next week. And then guy number three, and this is the time to be a man portion of the program. Jerry Jones, Cowboys owner, goes on the fan on Friday morning and says regarding Kelvin Joseph. And of course, Anthony Brown, friend of the show, is out. So here comes Boss Man Fat. And Jerry says, it's time to be a man. They have had this conversation uh, with Kelvin ever since he got here, really, and then intensified that conversation, certainly when... Uh, we had the fatal shooting investigation over the summer. And the Cowboys are pounding on this subject with him. They are massaging this subject with him. They're giving him a hug. They're giving him a kick of the pants, whatever it takes. Entering this weekend, as he takes over as the starter at cornerback, Jerry Jones, let's call this a grandfatherly kick in the pants. Quote from Jerry, it's time for Kelvin to become a man accept a higher level of responsibility. He's got more people depending on him. It's time for some of the side stuff to ease its way out of his life. And we get a chance to see just how that works for Kelsey Joseph and the Cowboys on the field, Houston Texans, noon at AT&T Stadium. We will be there, the 75 member staff. We invite you to come with us as well. You can find us, of course, at CowboysSI.com, where we invite you to bookmark it and live there. And then uh, as I politely request of you, please subscribe to what we do here. Uh, we, we think it's unusual, bordering unique, straight dope, no bullsh from inside the Cowboys fish out.